Feraligatr is easily one of my favorite water type starters in existence, and for good reason. This thing is a monster with the ability Sheer Force and a solid base 105 attack, and a brilliant stab move in Liquidation that gets boosted by Sheer Force. Nothing wants to take that hit. Today I'm going to be diving into what I call the Bolt Beam Gator, with Liquidation for Stab, Ice Punch and Terror Blast Electric for Bolt Beam coverage, and the staple that is Dragon Dance. Let's see how it goes. Today's first battle of three is against Lord Black, and this one is insane. As always, if you do find yourself enjoying the video, why not subscribe to see more of your favorite Pokemon in action? So without further ado, I present to you all the Bolt Beam for Alligator video. And the battle begins. Good luck to my opponent, Lord Black. So they're going to lead off with Landorus, which is great for us because we lead off with a Bomber Snow. So we went, we made the right lead, which is, makes a nice change. Um, so what we could do here is we could either expect them to go for a Taunt and go for a Blizzard straight up, but they probably just go straight for the U-turn into Necrozma. So I'm going to go for a Aurora Veil right off the bat. They go for a U-turn probably into the Necrozma. That's some serious damage right there considering it's not stabbed and it's through snow. So they could be banded Landorus. Banderus. Yeah, Necrozma comes straight in. That thing is a threat. Um, I don't even know why. I don't normally battle people with like Ubers like Necrozma, but I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I want to demonstrate for Alligator's power. Um, so you know what? We're going to battle some Ubers, so why not? So anyway, um, we switch out here 100% time into the uh, Great Tusk. We get the Stealth Rocks up. That's going to be really useful. So Great Tusk can come in now. I know it's a Psychic type, but we are physically defensive. We can take any hit from this thing, no problem, through Aurora Veil. Um, so there we go. Great Tusk comes in, nice and shiny. They go for a Sun Seal Strike, which is going to do Diddly Squad Tours, I think. Boom. Yeah, no damage. Fantastic. I'm Rocky Helmet Chip. Mwah. Chef's Kiss. Let's go for a Stealth Rock right now. They go for a Psychic Fangs. Ooh, we have Psychic Fangs breaking the Aurora Veil. Interesting. So, Rocky Helmet Chip is in effect. They go, we go for a Stealth Rocks. So, at least the Stealth Rocks are up to stay. Because they haven't got a Hazard Clearer. So, let's go for a knockoff right now. They go for another Psychic Fangs, which does take us out, as you would expect from a Necrozma. So, Rocky Helmet Chip has stacked up, which is nice. But you know what? We're in a really good position right now. So, what we could do is, we could go Moltres. I think Moltres is a good switch. So, we'll go Moltres like so. I did kind of want to keep Great Tusk for that Gouging Fire, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. Um, let's go for a U-turn here, it's just to see what they're going to do. They go for a Rock Blast, and they miss. Rock Blast, are they loaded dice? Interesting. So, now we're in a very good position because nothing on the team wants to take a Liquidation. So, I'm going to go into Fraligator. After that U-turn chip, I'm pretty confident a Liquidation will take this thing out. So, we'll go into the Gator now. The Snow does stop. The Aurora Veil's already gone. If we can get rid of this Necrozma and get the Aurora Veil back up, that'd be amazing. Yeah, Liquidation comes through. We outspeed, of course. Necrozma's not very fast. And uh, down it goes. So Necrozma goes down to a Feraligator, which is amazing. In comes the Iron Bundle. So this thing is obviously a threat. Um, it's going to get a booster energy, right? It's nice and shiny as well. Good to know. Uh, they are going to get a booster energy, which is going to boost their speed, I'm guessing. Is it speed? Yeah, speed was, speed was heightened. Um, now we just go into a Bomber Snow. Uh, we go into Reg Ice. Reg Ice, the Assault Vest Reg Ice can force a switch out on this thing because it, it can't stay in against Reg Ice. So we're going to Frozone. Like so. They go for a Freeze Dry. Not going to do anything to Reg Ice. It literally does nothing. Um, so now they have to go into Gouging Fire or something. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. They flip turn, which is to be expected. Does a bit of chip damage to us. And now they go into Gouging Fire or Landorus. I don't think the Landorus will come in, but the Gouging Fire, maybe. Yeah, Gouging Fire comes in. That's a good switch. Good switch. So that's that's a good Pokemon to go into. So they haven't got the Heavy Dew Boots. They haven't got a Booster Energy either. But they take some Ice Beam damage, which is amazing. And now we just go straight into Moltres. Moltres can handle this Gouging Fire, no problem. So we withdraw our Reg Ice. We go straight into Moltres. The Forks over here. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Um, they go for an Iron Head, which isn't going to do any damage to Moltres, obviously. Uh, now, if we assume they're going to either... 
switch out. I'm going to go for a U-turn. You go for it. Stone Edge. Wasn't expecting that. That's a good play. I wasn't expecting Stone Edge on the Gouging Fire. That's for sure. They've got Iron Head, Stone Edge, probably Dual Stab. So, Zoroark, it's your time to shine. Come in disguised as the Frolligator and let them go for a Burning Bulwark. They won't have Burning Bulwark, though. They won't. Trust me. Um... I always go for a Hyper Voice here, so that's what I'm going to do. Hyper Voice comes through. Doesn't take out the Gouging Fire, but they have Bulldoze. Which is interesting, which is going to lower our speed. Revealing that we are the Zoroark. So now they can go for their Fire Stab. I'm going to go for another Hyper Voice anyway, though, just in case. They go for a Fire Fang. And that takes us out with a critical hit. Okay. This ain't funny. But you know what is funny? For alligator, it's your time to shine. Because I can take any hit from this thing. Now, I know it's not got Dragon Stab. I can go for a Dragon Dance all I want. That's exactly what I'm going to go for. They go for a Stone Edge and they miss. Oh, this is going to be perfect. This is going to be perfect. They're either going to Rage Quit or they're not. So you're probably wondering, how do I take on this Iron Bundle? You're probably not because I probably told you at the start of the video. But anyway, let's go for another Dragon Dance. Let's get greedy, because that, that floor main might have booster energy and speed. So we'll go for another Dragon Dance. We'll get greedy. They go for a Stone Edge, I'm guessing. Stone Edge, they do hit it, which is nice. And it doesn't do nearly enough damage. So we just simply go for a Liquidation right now, and we take this thing out. So Liquidation comes through. Down goes the Gouging Fire, which is fantastic. So we're Gouging Fire out of the way. We just have a Landorus, a Fluttermane, which could have booster energy and speed, which makes it threatening. An Iron Bundle, which you're probably wondering... Fraligate doesn't really get much for Iron Bundle other than Earthquake and Crunch. Well, ha ha ha. Yaskarada comes in. Is this thing Choice Scarf and expecting it to outspeed? I don't know, but they're going to get some Stealth Rock breaking a potential Sash. We go for the Ice Punch. Ice Punch comes through. Yaskarada goes down. No chance of outspeeding us. The crit didn't matter. Obviously, it's plus two sheer force life or boosted for ice punch from a for alligator. Iron Bundle comes in. Again, they're probably thinking, there's no way this thing can touch my Iron Bundle. Well, I'm afraid you are incorrect as we go for an ele a Terror Electric Terror Blast right now, which is absolutely amazing. So Terror Electric Terror Blast comes through. Boom. Like so. And we cleanly, cleanly take out this Iron Bundle right now with a Terror Blast. There we go. So we've got that perfect Bolt Beam coverage right now, which is amazing. Bolt Beam coverage is amazing. Always has been. Always will be. Unless they make a type that resists both. Landorus comes in. This thing's probably thinking, hey, I'm going to get the Intimidate off and I'm going to be able to live a hit. But no, 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 no. Unless the Terror... If they're Terra, that's going to be a good play. But I'm going to go for a Liquidation anyway. Liquidation comes through his stab. Takes out the Landorus in one clean hit, which is amazing. So now we just have the Fluttermane to deal with. And if the Fluttermane's booster energy and speed, then we might be boned. Fluttermane comes in the Gourmet. Nice. Is it booster energy? That's the real question. It is booster energy. Is it booster energy and speed, though? It is booster energy and speed. So can we still outspeed them with two Dragon Dancers? Let's go for it. They're going to Terra. Oh, what type are they terroring into? Steel? Water? Grass? Who knows? Fairy. Okay, they're trying to get that extra power on the Moonblast. Makes a lot of sense, to be fair. But do we outspeed? We do outspeed still. Nice. And that's a clean Frolligator sweep right there, taking out every single member of the team. You gotta love it. Fralligator came through. GG to my opponent. That was a pretty fun one. Lord Black. What an insane sweep. Even Ubers don't stand a chance against the Gator. The next battle is a funny one. It's against someone called D. And let's just say the Gator takes it too far. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, D. So they're going to lead off with Sneasler, which is great for us because I led off with the uh, Great Tusk. And um, Tusk Zero over here. So... And um, we obviously wall this thing to hell and back. Let's go for a stealth rock and get them up ready. They go for a swords dance, which is interesting. So with swords dance up, they are a bit more threatening. However, the fact that they haven't used an item up yet, unless they don't have an item at all, 
means that they're going to go for a Terra Flying Acrobatics right now. Um, and I'm not about that, but I'm, I'm going to go for an Earthquake anyway, just in case they don't. They are going to Terra. Okay, so they're going to Terra Flying? Maybe? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Fighting. Oh, okay, so they're going to go all out on the power with a close combat. That makes sense. That makes sense. But I'm pretty sure Great Tusk can still take it. So they go for a close combat. And I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure we can take this no problem. It does a lot of damage, but not nothing to cry about. Um, we, we take it like a champ. Let's just say that. So Rocky Helmet Chip comes through. Sneasler is going to get taken down. Well, close to being taken down by this Earthquake because of the defense drop. Taken down by the Earthquake thanks to the defense drop. Brilliant. So with Sneasler out of the way, we have... Not much to stand in the way of my uh, Terror Electric for Alligator. So Corviknight comes in. That thing's probably going to want to go for a Defog right now. Which makes a lot of sense. They're going to exert some pressure. We 100% switch out here into for Alligator. So that's what I'm going to do. Because they go for a Defog here all the time to get rid of those Stealth Rocks, right? They definitely go for a Defog. So Delta comes in. Like so. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. They go for a defog as expected. So they're probably going to go for a U-turn now, if I had to guess. So I'm going to go straight for the Dragon Dance right now. So that I can outspeed everything on the team. So there we go. Dragon Dance comes through. They probably go for a U-turn, like I said, or a Brave Bird. I doubt they go for a Brave Bird, though. They go for a Brave Bird. Interesting. So Brave Bird comes through. And that's going to do a lot of damage. But you know what? It's fine. We're going to Terra and we're going to Dragon Dance again. So we're going to Terror Electric right now, so that we resist the uh, Brave Bird, which is going to be great. And then we go for a Dragon Dance, and this time we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the Brave Bird like a champ, like a real champ. So we Terror Electric like so, with a big light bulb on our head. We're going to get a Dragon Dance up once again. And this might be it. This might be the video I've been looking for, the Feraligator sweep. They go for a Brave Bird. It's not going to do much unless they get a crit. They don't get a crit though. That's nice. So they get damaged by the recoil. Now they've got to be worried about this. So let's go for a Terror Blast. We 100% KO this Cor Corviknight with a plus two Terror Blast with Life Orb. There we go. Corviknight is down. Down and out. And you know what? The pre, pre Marina, not even safe. They haven't got anything that's safe from this Frally Gear. Nothing at all. Dragapult comes in, which is great. Hopefully they don't forfeit. That's, that's why I'm worried about them forfeiting. So let's go for an Ice Punch. And as long as they don't have Sucker Punch, which they don't. We should take this thing out. There we go. Ice Punch comes through. The Dragapult may be fast, but for Alligator at plus two is faster. Pre-Marina comes in. The Peckish. I'm afraid you're not safe from the wrath of the Terror Blast. As we go for a Terror Blast now. Ah, they forfeited. They forfeited. That's amazing. You love to see a Rage Quit every now and again, right? We all know how that battle would have ended anyway. The final battle is against Chopper XD, and this one is a really solid game. Feraligator comes through, but is it enough to win us the game? Let's find out. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Chopper. So they're going to lead off with Crocodoc, the Skeledurge, as I led off with my Tusk Zero, the Great Tusk. Now, they don't have a Hazard Clearer on their team, and Great Tusk is mainly going to be used for defensive purposes this game. So I'm going to get the Stealth Rocks up straight away at the risk of being burned. Because um, it doesn't really matter in the end. Um, what matters is that we don't get the Feraligator burned. We never know on that. So they go for a Will-O-Wisp, which is to be expected. I'm surprised they even stayed in, because if we were if we were banded and went for headlong rush there, whew, I don't think that Skeletor would have survived, because they didn't even Terra. Anyway, we get burned, but we get the Stealth Frogs up, so it's not the end of the world. Um, now I'm going to go for a knockoff just to get rid of this thing's item, because this thing is going to be in the way of my Feraligator a little bit. So we go for a knockoff, bit of chip damage off on them, and we get rid of the leftovers, which is fantastic. So... They go for a flamethrower, not torch song, which is interesting. They just wanted that extra power with flamethrower. Um, and now I'm pretty much going to go for a switch, right? Because they go for a slack off here, right? So we go Moltres. I think Moltres is a good shout. Moltres is a fine shout. They probably go for a slack off or they go for another flamethrower, one of the two. So we're bringing on nice and shiny Moltres. They go for a flamethrower again. That's going to bounce right off us. There we go. No no damage, really. Uh, and now we go for a U-turn, I think. Yeah, they're not going to go for a Willow. They either go for a Shadow Ball or something else. So we go for a U-turn. 
we go for a U-turn. And we'll go into Hisui and Zoroark just on the off chance they go for a ghost type move, which they probably will. Um, so Hisui and Zoroark can come in now, and it'll be disguised as Reggie Ice. So they might be tempted to go for a Flamethrower afterwards, but they'll probably go for a Shadow Ball. They do go for a Shadow Ball, and that's not going to affect us. And they might be baffled by this, or they might realize straight away what's going on. So let's go for a Shadow Ball right off the bat, just to get some serious damage off on the Skeledurge. They withdraw. Are they going to go into Staraptor? Staraptor would make sense. Yeah, Staraptor comes in. That's fine. So we're Focus Sash, so I'm not really bothered about the Staraptor coming in. We do get it, in, it does get the Intimidate off, which doesn't really matter. Uh, Shadow Ball's not going to affect it, being a normal type. And now we can go for a Hyper Voice pretty safely, because they're going to go for a Brave Bird or a U-Turn, one of the two. We go for a Hyper Voice, the Not Scarf, which is good to know. And they go for a U-Turn, which is going to break our Disguise a little bit and breaks our Sash in the process, but it's fine. Because we got some serious damage off on the Staraptor, which is heavy duty boots, by the way. I just realized because it didn't take Stealth Rock damage. Um, so that's good to know. Hydrapple comes in. That's an interesting choice. So I'm guessing their um, Assault Vest, by the way, they brought them in. They're not heavy duty boots, that's for sure. So what do we do here? Do we, do we, do we attack the Hydrapple because it is a big threat? If we assume they're going to Terra Steel here, expecting a Hyper Voice or a Terra Fairy... Maybe we should switch out. I'm, I'm leaning towards just sacking off Great Tusk completely. But if they decide to go for a Terra, tough decision this. I think we go Reg Ice here. Because Reg Ice is a Salt Vest, so it can take any hit from this thing. Even if they go all out with Fickle Beam, it's going to bounce right off us. So we'll go Reg Ice, like so. There we go, Reg Ice comes in. They go for a Yawn, interesting choice. So Yawn is a very interesting move to go for. Probably forces a switch. So the, the thing is, right, are they going to go for another yawn? Expecting a switch. Do I, I'm just going to go for the ice beam. Screw it. They withdraw. What are they going to go into to take an ice beam, though? Are they going to go Skeledurge? Crocodile comes in. That's the Skeledurge. Yeah. So this thing doesn't have... Uh, it's going to get hit by Stealth Rocks, which is great. We get a free ice beam off on it, which is fantastic. Nice bit of damage as well, not going to lie. As uh, we do fall asleep, unfortunately. So, if we assume they're going to go ahead and predict the Moltres switch, I say we sack off Great Tusk. We can still use Reggie Steel for uh, Reggie Ice for later against the Hydrapple, and it doesn't pair up very well against the rest of the team, Megro, Staraptor, and uh, Tauros. But um, it's fine. So they go for a slack off, to be expected. They're going to get some damage recovered. Um, now I'm expecting them to just stay in and go for a flamethrower here. So I'm just going to go for some big damage and go for an Earthquake. There we go. They do stay in. They probably go for a Flamethrower. As long as I can get some damage off on the Skeledurge, I'm all right. They go for a Flamethrower. That's going to take us out. Which is absolutely fine. So with Flamethrower taking our Great Tusk, um, we are at the disadvantage here because we've lost a, a member of our team already. I want to go for Alligator and scare this thing out. I don't see what they can go into other than the Hydrapple. So I'm going to go for Alligator and scare this thing out. So Alligator can come in now. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. We go straight for liquidation because it'll hurt everything on the team except from the Hydrapple and the Tauros. So they withdraw Crocodile. What are they gonna go into? The Hydrapple? Hydrapple could come in. Yeah, Hydrapple comes in. The fact that they brought this in as well tells me that they're not worried about the Ice Punch. So they get the stones digging into them. We go for liquidation. It should still do a little bit of chip. Yeah, a little bit of chip. Not too bad. Um, now we basically, we have to switch out into Reg Ice because they're either going to A, go for a Terra or B, go straight for a Giga Drain. The third option is that they switch out as well, uh, making a double switch, predicting us to switch into the uh, a Reg Ice real quick. So we'll go Reg Ice anyway. They went for the Yawn again, which is fine. This means we get a free turn of uh, trying to break out of sleep, um, which would be great. Absolutely fantastic if we could break out of sleep first turn. But I don't know. I don't think it will break out first turn, will it? Hmm. Just in case the Tauros comes in, I'm going to try and go for a Thunderbolt. They do withdraw the uh, Hydrapple as expected. And they're going to go Tauros. Crocodile comes in. That's fine. Crocodile can come in all at once. I don't mind Crocodile coming in. Because the Stealth Rocks are there. We are fast asleep, unfortunately. They are definitely going to go for a Slack Off here. So I'm going to hard switch into Feraligator, expecting the uh, slack off. And we'll scare out of the liquidation again. Um, this time, we could predict the switch and go for an uh, Ice Punch, but 
I want to go. I'm just going to go straight for the liquidation. I feel like it's the best bet. They do go for the slack off, which is fine. Healing the Skeledurge back up to close to full. We should definitely still take them out with liquidation, though, which is what I'm going to go for. We've draw. What are they going to go into? Are they going to go back into the Hydra Apple? Oh, okay. They're going into something else. They're going into Tauros. Yeah, Tauros comes in. Nice and shiny. Not that you can really tell. Stones dig in. They do have the Intimidate, but they're going to take some chip anyway from the liquidation, which is nice. Bit of chip. Nice bit of chip, to be fair. Um, I could stay in and go for... They're going to go for a close combat, aren't they? I say we go Moltres. It's a bit ballsy because they could go for a Raging Bull or a Wave Crash, but I think they'll go for a close combat here or a Wild Charge. Wild Charge wouldn't be good for Moltres, but we might burn them, which is the main thing I'm going into this thing for. Trailblaze. If we can burn with Flame Body right now, that'd be amazing. We don't now. Right, so we're defensive. We can definitely take a hit from this thing. I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. They go for a Raging Bull. That's better than Wave Crash, as we do live that, which is great. We do get the Will-O-Wisp off, which is also great. Burning the Tauros is fantastic. Actually fantastic. We need them to Terror so that they can't surprise Terror us on the Feraligator. Um, I'm going to go for a Roost now, just in case. They go for an Aquajet anyway, which is going to take out Moltres, which is fine. Um, I guess we could have used Moltres for later, but it doesn't matter now. Uh, what we're going to do instead is... Because this thing's burned, we can just go into Feraligator and set up now. Uh, or we can go about a Bomber Snail. Raging Bull, though, will break the Aurora Veil, so I don't want to do that. Um, I'm leaning more towards the either the Zoroark or the Feraligator. I'm going to go Feraligator. I am going to go Feraligator. Um, I think that is the best thing to go for. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance now. And the reason I'm going for Dragon Dance is because I don't think they'll stay. I don't. I don't think they'll switch out. Yeah, they go for a close combat. Which isn't going to do much damage to us all thanks to the burn. They get a defense drop, which is fantastic. We get a boost in our attack and speed thanks to the Dragon Dance. And now we're in a very good position. Because we should be outspeeding everything on the team now. Now, I don't want to take too much damage from this uh, Tauros. But I would like to get a second Dragon Dance up, to be fair. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to compromise. I'm going to go... Mm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna go for another Dragon Dance. They go for another close combat. As long as they don't get a crit, which they don't, we should be all right. We are all right. There we go. Um, and now we go for another Dragon Dance, which is fantastic. And hopefully we can get a little sweepy sweep here with uh, Feraligator. That'd be amazing if we could. That'd be amazing. We do outspeed the Tauros now because they haven't gone for another Trailblaze, which they probably should have done. Um, we can definitely take this thing out with a Liquidation right now because it's at minus two defenses, and based on the damage we did before. So I'm gonna go for a Liquidation. Liquidation comes through. I want them to think that we don't have... Well, I guess Terra Electric was only really going to be useful against that Tauros. <laughs> Which we didn't need it for because we had the Liquidation. Alright, in comes Hydrapple. So this thing is a threat. We know this. It's going to get some stones dug into it. Are they going to Terra? The fact that they've brought it in tells me they're going to Terra. I'm going to Terra Electric so that we don't die to the Giga Drain. Potentially. Or if, hmm, there's not much point terroring. We may as well save the terror. Giga Drain KOs us anyway. Let's go for an Ice Punch. Screw it. Oh, they, they, they don't expect the Ice Punch. They just straight up let the Hydrapple goes down. So it looks like we are getting a little sweepy sweep with the uh, Feraligator, which is fantastic. Staraptor comes in, which is fine. Was it Intimidate? I can't remember if it was Intimidate or not. It is Intimidate. So that's fine, though, because we're at plus one still. Um... I'm just going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Liquidation. I don't see any reason not to. So they withdraw the Staraptor. So they're, they're trying to intimidate around, which is fair enough. What are they going to go into? Metagross? That's the good good option. It's floating. Look at that. It's because Staraptor was flying beforehand. That, that, apparently, that's why this does the animation. So we go for a Liquidation. It's going to nearly take out the Metagross from full. At only plus one. Let's go for another Liquidation. They go for a Bullet Punch. That's going to do a little bit of chip damage to us. Bit more than I thought it would. We go for liquidation though. That's going to definitely take out the Metagross. Now they have to bring the Staraptor in, and then go out again, and then go in again, and then go out again. Yeah, Staraptor comes in to get that Intimidate off once again. But this is just taking us down to neutral. So with the Intimidate coming through, takes us down to neutral. Unless they've got Quick Attack, we're not worried here. They withdraw the Staraptor again. They're going to try and get us into the minus attack range. What are they going to go into? Crocodile? They're going to sack off the Skeledurge. 
That makes sense. Skeleton Edge goes down. And I think it really shows how much pressure Feraligate is putting on their team right now. Because they're having to do this sack a Pokemon, switch Star Raptor and get the Intimidate off. Sack a Pokemon, switch Star Raptor and get the Intimidate off. They're going to have to keep doing that, which is great. Star Raptor comes in, though, this time. Gets the Intimidate off. You know what, though? Even at minus one attack, I think we still take out that Mamoswine from full. Let's go for a Liquidation and find out. They actually do have Quick Attack, which they could have gone for in the first place. But you know what? I'm not bothered. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Feraligate did good this game. It took out pretty much the whole team. Which is amazing. So, we go Zoroark here 100% of the time. Doesn't even need to be disguised. As it comes in just in its base form. We go for a Hyper Voice 100% of the time here. They withdraw Staraptor. Interesting choice. They're going to go into the um, Mamoswine. Mamotel. Which is interesting. So, Mamoswine comes in. Point of Stones dig in. We go for a Hyper Voice. That should two-shot them. Yeah, it does. So, Zoroark should finish off the game here. So, let's go for another Hyper Voice. They go for an Ice Shard. That's not going to KO us. Oh, it did a lot of damage, though. As Hyper Voice comes through and takes out the Mamoswine, which is fantastic. Now, it's just the Star Raptor. It can't quick attack us. We outspeed it, and it's pretty much GG right there. Star Raptor comes in. Gets the Intimidate off after being shiny and all that. Gets the Intimidate off. Not that it matters. We just go straight for a Hyper Voice and take them out. Hyper Voice comes through, and that is going to be the game. So, GG Chopper. That was a pretty fun little W for us. Uh, Feraligator really came through and put a lot of pressure on the team. Took out about, what, three or four of their Pokemon? Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. What a nail biter. Gator didn't win us the game, but it definitely opened a few holes in the opponent's team. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to use the team using the code on the screen. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.